Hi there folks, in today's video I'm going to show you how we can build an agent transfer between a Copilot in Copilot Studio and the customer service workspace. So on my blog as you can see I have a chat conversation open. This is using a Copilot and if I ask to transfer or speak to an agent over on customer service workspace I have the ability to then accept that transfer and begin a conversation with my end user on the website. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a very basic co-pilot, how to set it up so that you can prepare it for transferring to an agent, how to connect it to customer service workspace, and then how to embed that into your website like you currently see on screen. So to kick things off, I'm going to build out a basic co-pilot. So we'll start with giving that co-pilot a name, followed by a description. It's going to be able to answer Power Platform related questions and then some instructions on how to behave. It's going to be a support agent for an IT firm. Now its knowledge is going to be based on a public website. If I click on add knowledge, I can go to public websites and then using the official learn material from, from learn.microsoft.com, I'm going to copy that URL and paste that in here as a knowledge source. Now finally, I'm going to change the name and the description and add that into my copilot. Now with everything set up, if I hit create, we now have a very basic co-pilot created. I'm going to turn on the tracking and ask the first question, what is Power Automate? So because I don't have a topic defined on my co-pilot, it's going to go into the conversational boosting topic like we can see on screen right now. And then using this generative answers node, it's going to look at the knowledge base and provide an answer with some references to those materials. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna ask a more complex question. How can I load 20,000 rows of data into Excel in 15 seconds? And for those that have seen my video, they know it is possible, but let's see what Copilot can answer with. So quite a detailed answer. It's quite a challenging task due to the limitations of Power Automate, but because I know it's possible and because I need that for my particular project, I'm going to ask the question, surely this can be done, can I speak with someone? And by doing so, what happens now is because I've asked to speak to someone in particular, we end up in the escalate topic. And right now, escalation is not currently configured for this bot. So let's see how we can configure it and then we'll move over on to customer service where I'll enable the handing over to a live agent. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change this message. So rather than it's not currently enabled, I'm going to get our co-pilot to say, we'll now transfer you to an agent. And then I need to add in another node using topic management, it's transfer conversation. And here, if there's anything you want to hand over privately to your agent, you can configure a message or pass across any of the variables. If I save this topic and in the test window, if I ask to speak to someone, we can see that those changes have now been implemented and the transfer has now been initiated. Up in the top right, we can see the details that we passed across to our agent. So the next thing we need to configure is in the settings. It's all around security. We can't do a handoff using the default security which is based on authenticating with Microsoft. So we can either use no authentication, which is appropriate for my use case because none of the data is private, it's all public resources, but also you can look at authenticating manually. But I'll hit save and select save once more. If I hit the cross top right hand side, the next thing I need to do is configure channels. So clicking on channels, you can see there is a section dedicated to integrating with Dynamics 365 customer service. And if I click on that, there's a very nice wizard. All I need to do, assuming that my bot is in the same environment as my customer service instance, I can hit connect. And in about 30 seconds, we have successfully connected our co-pilot. The last thing that I need to do if I hit close is to make sure that I've published my bot. So I'm gonna hit the publish button and publish once more. And that'll ensure that any of the changes have now been made live. So with everything now set up and published on our Copilot in Copilot Studio, I'm gonna jump across onto an instance of customer service. And if we have a look at the bots configuration here, we can see I've got two bots, one that I had tested earlier and our latest one, which is our Power Platform support bot. And it's currently showing the status of connected. So as well as using the wizard within Copilot Studio to connect and disconnect your bots, you also have this screen here. But by confirming that our chatbot is connected, we can move across to configure our work stream. 
And so in this case, I'm going to create a brand new work stream so that any interaction that comes into this particular chatbot can go to a particular group of users. So I'll call this the Power Platform Support Work Stream. In this case, it's based on messaging. I'm going to select the chat channel. And for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to leave the rest of the settings at default and hit create. So with our new work stream created, the first thing we need to do is to set up our chat channel. And I'll click on the set up chat and we need to give this a name and I'll stick with Power Platform Support. Moving on to next, we actually get to now configure the chat widget, which we'll be able to embed into a website or into a mobile phone. So let's go ahead and change the title. We can say ask questions and the subtitle can be with demo and I'll click next. Here again, there are more settings that we can change. One of particular interest, which I might do a video on at another point, is the pre-conversation survey, which allows you to capture different input parameters before the conversation starts with the co-pilot. But again, I'm gonna accept all the defaults and click next. Then finally, we've got some user features. I'm going to turn off the file attachments. I'm gonna leave on the customer notifications and the transcripts so that they can download a copy. I'm going to turn off voice and video calls and click next before I can review the changes here and create our channel. So with this channel successfully created, we have some sample code and it's this code that we can embed into a basic HTML file and then embed into our website. And I'll show you that later on in the demonstration. So for now, I'm going to copy that and save it on my clipboard and I'll use this later on. And now I hit done. So the final piece of configuration is just to connect up our bot because at the moment, if anyone was to connect to this particular chat widget, they would not have access to our co-pilot. They would just access a human. So I'm going to add a bot and I can select the Power Platform support bot that I created earlier and connected, and I can connect it to this particular work stream. And that's our configuration with customer service admin now complete. If I change persona now and think about what I would do as an agent, I'm going to load up my customer service workspace. And it's here that I can take on any requests that come in as part of a transfer agent in my chatbot. But of course, I need to publish my bot to a web channel so that users can interact with it and request access to an agent. So in order to demonstrate this, I've now taken the script code that I copied from customer service admin, and I've embedded that into my blog. If I now navigate to my blog, you can see I now have a widget for a chat. And if I click on that, we have our Power Platform support bot. Now I can ask very similar questions as I did before when I built the bot. What is Power Automate? And we can see we've got links to the resources on Learn, which if I click on, we've got details about Power Automate licenses. If I ask the all difficult question, how can I load 20,000 rows into Excel in 15 seconds? Our bot has given us a response, again, claiming that this is actually quite a challenging task. So I would like to, of course, speak to someone. The bot will now attempt to transfer to an agent, and you'll note it says an agent will be with you in a moment. If I transfer my persona from current end user to agent, jump back over onto customer workspace, you'll see that there has been a chat request from a visitor. And if I accept that, I will now be connected with my end user. And if I split my screens, we can see both the end user experience and the agent experience. So let me look into this for you as the agent, as the user, thank you. And then as the agent, let me share a link to a video. I can send that across. And as the user, if I click on that. Hi there folks, in today's demonstration, it's me showing you how to create an Excel file and add rows fast in under 20 seconds. So there you have it. You've learned how you can deploy a Copilot from Copilot Studio into customer service so that you can enable an agent transfer. Before I leave you to it, one final ask. If you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Cheers.